Hi, I'm Joel Jimenez. I'm 31 years old. I'm a stand-up comedian and drummer, and I'm the little Mexican boy that made it out of the hood but still lives in the hood. Uh, we're in my freaking house right now. So I'm from Frogtown, which is Northeast LA. Uh, I've been here my whole life. I still live here uh, at home. I am 31. Frogtown is having a bit of a moment right now, which I don't know how to feel about that really. When I was a kid, nobody gave a fuck about us. Like, we're in between the freeway and the river. I actually got my drum set in this house. It was this house. Uh, and I used to just play music really loud in my bedroom and jam to it. And my mom used to bake um, like brownies and cookies for all the neighbors so they wouldn't call the police. And yeah, we got a pretty dope garage back there. So all my friends would just come, we'd jam out in the garage, started like punk bands. I dropped out of high school in the 10th grade. And uh, so I never got into the theater program or any sort of shit like that. It was just like music. So music was a more accessible way for me to express myself through my teens. Growing up in living color was huge in our household. Jim Carrey used to play this character named Vera DeMilo. She was like a female bodybuilder. And I would like dress up as that as a kid, like do pigtails and do, I would get like a tie and use it as like a little bra and like, Walk, walk around and like do the Vera de Milo thing. So I always thought now that, I, that I'm older, I look back and I'm like, I'm so glad my parents never shamed me out of doing those sort of things, like whatever, dressing like women or being weird characters. And they would, they would kind of like encourage it. I introduce to you the one and only, the best damn band in the land. It's the Kill Tony band. I never know what they're gonna be or what they're gonna do. Maybe it's a, Indians, ninjas. Uh... Wow, Jolina is here. Jolina and the Mexican. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jolina is one of our favorite characters in Joel's history. You know her as a, uh, a recent. A bad bitch. Full of say it already, <laughs> eh? I started seeing Pat Reagan around um, open mics all the time. And through just hanging out with him, I started hearing about this show called Kill Tony. Like, I wasn't, I didn't know what it was. I never had a drum set small enough to fit in the belly room because the belly room where we set up is like really small. And one day I was at a thrift store and I found a little kid's bass drum, like like a first act. He hit me up, he's like, I wanna make shark fins. We're gonna be a band called Shark Attack or whatever on the first thing. So he comes over and we cut out shark fins out of like cardboard and wrap them in foil. And we come out to the Jaws theme or something. And that, I think that was the first time I was on there. That was it, man, I never left. One day, Tony goes, he goes, that's Joel Jimenez, that's the drummer. He's on a Bill Goldberg-like streak. You know, people say he can't fail. This whole, like, Joelberg thing started. And on the 200th episode, they gave me a, my own microphone. And that was, like, a fucking honor, dude. It's been life-changing. They legitimized me as a comedian. Two and a half years of my life that I look back at and go, like, man, like, all the trips to all the thrift stores and um, all the... Yeah, there's yeah the money, uh, you know money I don't money I didn't have at the time, uh, and sometimes still don't. My Venmo is. I'm about as mentally strong as I physically look, <laughs> uh, and I still don't know how I feel about people laughing. Yeah, I write all the time, like every day. A lot of times people think writing is li literally like sitting down and writing, but just living life and constantly having my brain torture me is like all part of the writing. Like I'm a neurotic mess and full of anxiety every waking moment. Early I found like that skateboarding would get me out of my own head because all you could think about is whatever trick you were doing or you'd eat shit, you know? So it's a very physical and mental activity and I think that like helped me chill the fuck out. That's the other thing with skating, is like architecture will never look the same after being a skateboarder. I'll never see a set of stairs or a table again the same way. And with stand-up, it's like any sort of life situation, like everything can, everything can be something where I just look at it differently, I guess. And that comes from punk and skating and stand-up.